What's going on guys? Welcome to your 36th C++ tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to talk to you guys about something called a multi-dimensional array. Now a multi-dimensional array is basically an array inside another array. So yeah, think about that for a little bit and get freaked out. You might be thinking, whoa, this reminds me of Inception, a dream within a dream. What's going on? And you guys are thinking, oh man, this tutorial is going to be super confusing. I barely even understand arrays, and now you're going to say an array inside an array? Alright, well here is an easier way to think about it. If you ever, you know, use Microsoft Excel or maybe use uh, MySQL, think of it as a database or a table. A multi-dimensional array is basically made up of rows and columns. So this is the easiest way where you can think of it and it's basically whenever someone has uh, information and they want to organize it in rows and columns they use a multi-dimensional array. So let's go ahead and create one right now and I'll show you guys the syntax for it. Go ahead and pretend you're creating a basic array. Uh, I'm going to name mine Sally and instead of a one square bracket it actually takes two square brackets. In the first square bracket you write how many rows do you want to have in your array? Let's let's keep it simple and say we want to have an array with two rows. And for the second one, it's basically columns. How many columns do you want to have in your array? So let's go ahead and add three columns. So now we have a row, excuse me, now we have basically a table that's two rows by three columns, aka there are six elements in this array. So in order to create um, an array inside an array, it's basically exactly like you would think. Go ahead and make your array and just to tell you guys this, code blocks gets freaked out whenever you try to put uh, squirrely brackets inside other squirrely brackets so that's why uh, it might be messing up when you try typing it. But anyways, go ahead and as the first element in your array you actually add an array. So let's go ahead and add two, three, four. So check it out. We have an array two, three, four inside another array and this er, smaller array is the first row so now let's go ahead and make our second row or second array add a comma and like I said uh, code blocks gets freaked out whenever you try to do it so it might be weird but let's go ahead and in this array put 8, 9, and 10 so we basically made it two different arrays one array is 2, 3, 4 and the other array is 8, 9, 10. So we said, all right, we're creating a multi-dimensional array consisting of two different arrays. Each array is a row and each value is going to be a column. And remember to separate your arrays with a comma. So basically this is an array made up of two smaller arrays. So let me go ahead and draw this for you guys visually. Like I said, there are two different rows. One is two, three, and four and the other one is 8, 9, and 10. So visually, this is what our array looks like. This is all one array that's basically made up of this array, 2, 3, and 4, and this array, 8, 9, and 10. 2, 3, and 4 is on top, 8, 9, and 10 is on bottom, 2 rows, 3 columns. Pretty simple, huh? So anyways, the basics of this is anytime you want to create a multi-dimensional array, go ahead and list number of rows, number of columns and for the number of rows that's how many arrays you create and for the number of columns that's how many values you add to each array and then you end up with something like this so if you're saying alright now how do I reference you know how do I get to each element in that array well let's go ahead and just print it out on the screen um, of course print out Sally and whenever you reference it it just takes the two brackets the first index you need is what row is it in and remember the first row starts with zero so anytime we want to access an element in this first row we need to go ahead and put zero now remember two is going to be zero three is going to be one and four is going to be two so if you write zero two it's going to look at the zero with row which is the first run and the second element which is actually zero one two so it's going to go zero two and that's going to give us our four. It's basically just like coordinates. I don't know why I didn't say that before, it didn't cross my mind, but basically multi-dimensional arrays are exactly like coordinates. You rest the coordinate here, start with zero, and the coordinate here. So if you want to reference nine, that would be zero, one, 
So go ahead and type 1 for that. And 0, 1 right there. So that, let's go ahead and print that out. And I got my 9. So basically, a multi-dimensional array, just like Inception, is an array, or more than one array, inside a bigger array. It's pretty much an array made up of arrays instead of values. And what it does is it gives you the idea that you can create a table, basically, made up of rows and columns. And anytime you want to access one of the elements, you just go ahead and type in the coordinates, which would be the row number and then the column number. And you print it out, and there you go. So if you guys understand this, then you're ready to move on to my next topic. In the next tutorial, I'm going to teach you guys a really simple way to print out a multi-dimensional array. So instead of you know just having the comment, this right here, um, you have a nice visual of what it looks like. So if you guys uh, don't understand it, then go ahead and just go to my forum and ask me a question, and I'll explain it better there. But if you do, or you know, maybe if you got any good Inception jokes, then leave them in the comments below. But for now, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you in the next tutorial.